Hello and welcome to this video on 5 reasons why England could win the World Cup in Russia this summer. Number 1. Harry Kane. He's been the top English striker and has proved for the last few seasons that he's one of Europe's most deadly strikers. He hasn't done it yet at a major tournament, but that is in part down to Roy the Boy putting him on corners at Euro 2016. So perhaps this year could be Harry Kane's chance to shine. Number 2. Low expectations. Now this has been the case for the last couple of tournaments, but not many people are tipping England for success this summer, but that could work in their favour. People don't seem to be getting as carried away as they usually do in the weeks prior to a World Cup. Perhaps the England players will play with that little bit more freedom that they have lacked in the past. Number three, an easy group. Provided that England pick up maximum points against Tunisia and Panama, that will put them in a very strong position to get out of their group. Depending on the result against Belgium, that could set up a second round tie against Poland, Colombia, Japan or Senegal. If they win the group, they will most likely play Brazil in the quarterfinals, or if they finish runners-up, they'd face Germany. Number four, three at the back. We've seen with a number of teams taking to the three at the back model that it can provide success. It offers that extra man in defence against most teams that set up with either one or two strikers. If they can get the wing backs bombing forward too, we might see a more attacking and exciting brand of football from England this time around. Number five, a young team and manager. Though a number of these players faced humiliation at the hands of Iceland in 2016, there are not too many players that have faced much heartbreak in tournaments in the past. The pace in the forward line and the strength at the back could provide a winning formula for England this summer. What do you think? Can England win the World Cup this summer? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more World Cup content coming up over the next few weeks.